Hey guys, welcome back to the next quick book review. Today I am reviewing The Wicked Sister by Dr. Karen Dion. This story is about two sisters, Rachel and Diana. Rachel and Diana are sisters. Rachel's a younger one. She's about 15 years younger than her sister Diana. And this story is written, takes place as modern time, and then it flashes back to when the girls were just little kids from the time Diana was born. And it slowly catches up to present time. So it's basically written present time and in the past. And it's very well written. I really enjoy how the author does this. So let me just see how the story starts off. It starts off with Rachel. Rachel lives in a psychiatric hospital. And she's there on her own free will. She's not committed. She can leave the psychiatric hospital anytime she wants. But the reason she stays in there is because she has the memories of her parents' death. And the way she remembers it is she accidentally shot and killed her mother. I'm not giving nothing away here. You, you find this out really very quick in the story. You discover this. She accidentally shot her mother, and her father comes in, sees what happened, gets so upset, picks up the gun, that he ends up shooting himself, killing himself because he was upset. That's how she remembers it. Well, she's being interviewed by a reporter, and the reporter happens to have a copy of the police report, and she's never read the police report, believe it or not, which seems kind of odd, but she never read the police report, and she reads the police report, and she reads something in there that kind of questions her memory of the events. So what she decides to do is, like I said, she's not committed, and now she's questioning these events. She decides to check herself out, go back to the family cabin, and that's what it's called, the cabin, decide to go back to the family cabin and stand in the same spot where she stood where she accidentally killed her mother and where her father killed himself. She she wants to remember exactly what happened. So, and that's exactly what she does. She goes back to the home and then uh and she and and then like I said, it's it's flashing back and forth and a lot of things are being revealed little by little. Like for example the, the like for example the cabin you discover something about the cabin and like, oh, wow, okay. And, or you discover something new about one of the sisters. The way the author writes the story, she's constantly revealing stuff little by little, which is like, oh, wow, okay, that's that's what it is. And, and it just, it's enough to keep you wanting to keep going to find out more. It's, it's very well written. I really enjoyed this book a lot. I mean, I, this book was very good. It was a great book. So... Like I said, she goes back because she wants to uh, remember what happened. And also, I'm kind of, and the whole time I'm doing the story, I'm thinking to myself, okay, which one is the wicked sister? There's two sisters. Obviously, one of them has to be wicked. One of them has to be the bad one. And even though I have my suspicions, I, you know, I'm not too sure because, okay, I, you know, it might not be what you think. So, so. I won't say any more than that because I don't like to give away too much of these stories. Obviously, I never give away the ending, but it's definitely a very good story. I'm sorry, not a very good. It's a great story. This is a very, this is a great story. Carrie Dion, this is the second time I've uh, read one of her books. The first book was The Marsh King's Daughter. I really enjoyed that. That was a very good story. I need to, I need to come back and review that book. But getting back to The Wicked Sister, this book is great. I, I give this book a great review. I definitely recommend it. So if you're thinking about reading it, definitely read it. You won't be disappointed. You won't be. And once you start, you'll you won't be able to stop because you just you'll want it. You'll want more. And it's one of these. I guess you call it a psychological thriller. It's a very very good book. Um, if you enjoyed this review I just did, please hit like. If you want to leave any comments about this book, um, how you felt about it, what you thought about it, please do so. I always respond to the comments, and um, until next time, cheers.